Debuting in the Metarot Reloaded manga as an upgraded body for Rokusho, it is a futuristic cyber stag beetle type, KWG-14 Kyren, with the kits of Hyper Thunder, Sword, Spark Strike, Biped Legs, and the leg ability of Soaring, which buffs all leg stats, minus armor and heavy limits when using a melee skill stacking five times. Now, as the counterpart to Musha Beetle, not just in number, but also in aesthetic, sporting a very uh, futuristic cybernetic kind of design as well, Kyren also brings a lot of skills to the table that, while we may have already seen them numerous times, puts his skills to incredibly good use across the board for a very speedy, agile, and exceptionally powerful Stag Beetle type across the board. Hyper Thunder on the head part is a basically just a stronger variant of Thunder, which will stop an opponent cold in their tracks and basically built to buy you some time by either stalling a more dangerous foe on the field or even keeping that, that faster enemy support or healer at bay to buy yourself a couple extra precious moments to recoup or even come up with a follow-up behind Chiron and finish the job. The difference is that Hyper Thunder hits notably harder and packs passive pierce damage. Which means that while Basic Thunder is designed just to shock and stop, Hyper Thunder is designed to shock, stop, and make it exceptionally painful. At the cost, however, that you are unable to dodge or defend while in cooldown state because of the higher damage output that comes with it. Basic Sword on the right arm is a conventional melee skill that no one can ever go wrong with using for its incredible balance, well-rounded stats, and no drawback or cooldown penalties whatsoever because it is a very simple run and swipe attack. And with impressive numbers with a base power at almost 1500, a very high success at over 1400 as well means he's going to be very quick, hits rather hard, and it's going to be very rare that he actually misses or the enemy tries to graze him. Spark Strike, also known as Charge Spark on the left arm, is another conventional melee skill that adds a little bit more of a kick to what Kyren brings to the table. Very similarly to how Charge Buster and uh, Charge Blade tend to draw upon the user's Metaforce Charge for damage bonus, uh, Charge Spark, Spark Strike, instead operates a little differently. Instead, when it draws upon the user's Metaforce Gauge, it will instead consume 10% or 5 if it's fully capped at rank 5 of, their, of the user's Metaforce Gauge. But upon use, it will also massively boost the user's heat and cooldown specs by 50% for their entire next turn. Which means if you were not already going fast before, well, I hope you buckle down because you're going to be going close to Mach 2 or even Mach 3 by the time that you officially activate it. The only drawback, of course, is if you have no charge, you don't get the speed bonus, of course. So even though it does give him a little bit of a hand in metaphor sustain, it's not essentially required for Kyren's damage output, and instead is more of an icing on the cake in this instance, because it means that his already speedy kit will get faster as long as he has a charge that can feed into it. Biped legs means that he'll have very solid coverage across most terrains, and Biped has the most diverse of all terrain compatibility across the board, usually for their all-rounded specs in pretty much every category you can think of. And when it comes to numbers across the board, much like it was with Musha Beetle, Kyred is most certainly no exception either. However, instead of specializing in high armor and good di and high damage output, Kyred instead focuses on high speed and high damage, which is of course, par for the course for, this, for the standard Stag Beetle type series across the board. Of course, with that sporting slightly lighter armor at 3700 HP for the head, 30, about 3200 HP for that left, for that right arm, 2700 for the left, which is just a little squishy, and legs at about 3800 as well. So he is still relatively healthy with the armor pool as well, but not quite in the, in the same sense that uh, the Oriental Samurai type Musha Beetle might. But... Again, that is par for the course since stag beetle types tend to focus on agility more than armor or tanking damage. Leg stats are honestly really nice too, much like it is with his counterpart, but also focusing on a better speed. Uh, Kyren uh, clocking almost 900 base mobility at 876, he's going to be notably faster than his counterpart and to be expected, which means he's already going to be off to a very good start on the field from the moment the referee says go before any other terrain compatibility or meta rotter bonuses even add to that. An evade of 812 is slightly better than his counterpart, but it does mean that 
in contrast to most other KWGs in his family, he's not going to be focusing as heavily or have as much of an emphasis on dodging or grazing. That's not to say that he can't or won't or he's incapable of it, it's just simply not something he's going to be paying attention to or really bother looking at while he's on the field. A melee resist to 1306 is pretty nice though, as it means as expected. He can hold his own up close and personal, but again, basically an inverse to his counterpart. As um, shoot resist to 774 does mean that he will struggle just a little bit from taking pot shots from the enemy sniper from afar. So just a little bit of caution there if you are planning to use him in. Well, if you are planning to use Chiron in any sort of ext uh, uh, extension or by or any means while he's on the field, but. That is also before you consider soaring into effect, which buffs all of his leg stats by a percentage stacking five times, which I believe is up to a 20, 20 to 30 percent maximum stat bonus across the board, which means that the numbers you see here are only his base numbers. And that's actually where he might actually be slightly better than Musha Beetle in this respect where Musha Beetle can basically be used right out of the gate with no real assistance necessary. The longer the fight drags on, the faster, more agile, and the more aggressive Kyren becomes as he stays on the field. And because he's packing a triple melee kit with Hyper Thunder, Sword, and Spark Strike, well, with between about two or between about four to five turns, he's gonna be getting notably faster, and that's before even Spark Strike comes into effect, which will boost his speed even faster than it was before then. All this being said, though, as a pure set score, I still very easily have to rate Kyren a very solid 8.5 out of 10. Even though he is particularly more aggressive than most other KWGs in his family, he does put his aggression and his good numbers to incredibly good use with a very synergetic kit. All three of his parts synergize into soaring incredibly well, which means every turn he's alive, he again is getting faster, more aggressive, and easier to dodge or graze or reduce damage. Hyper Thunder for stalling enemies, Sword for that conventional damage, and Spark Strike if you find yourself somehow needing to go faster than the speed of light, it is available to you. As mixed parts, I very easily have to rate him equally at an 8.5 out of 10 for these same reasons as well. Biped legs with Soaring is very good for any conventional melee fighter that, you, that can be put on, even if it does require a few turns to kind of build up for, it is worth noting that if you are able to build up for that, you will certainly see it pay off in the long run. Hyper Thunder for a head, you may or may not see a use for it depending on depending on your particular team build, especially because it is a heavy part with a no dodge and no defend penalty, but if you do find yourself in need of it or making good use of it, it is available to you. Sword and Spark Strike are probably going to be two of the best pieces you can make use of while in his kit because of the conventional balance they bring to the table. Now much like Musha Beetle was, showing that, you do, that even the most oriental and ancient looking designs can most certainly command a, a very uh, a powerful presence among them. Chiron also shows that sometimes maybe newer is better with a futuristic cybernetic design showing that speed and power is most certainly the way of the future.